Hi Libra, this is Nightbird Enchanted with your weekly reading for June 14th to June 21st. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And welcome back subscribers. It's been a while since I've done readings here on my channel, but I'm going to be performing weekly readings. And this reading is for Libra. Of course, it's a general reading. Watch for Sun Moon Rising in this video. So let's get started Libra and look at the energies for the week. If you're new to my channel, a couple things about me as a reader. Uh, I don't read reversals and this is how I shuffle. <laughs> and everybody always comments on the shuffle, but it's called the overhand shuffle. <laughs> so let's get started Libra and see what the energies are for you for June 14th to the 21st for all Libras. What's happening for you, Libra? All right, Libra, let's see. All right, first card, Queen of Wands energy comes through, fire sign. So we could be dealing with fire sign energy this week, Libra. This also could be a person in your life. Uh, Queen of Wands could be you. So typically she's very outward. She's not much of an introvert. She gets herself out there. She's attractive. She's dynamic. She's persuasive. She's charismatic. She can also be a player as well. So there's this energy this week uh, that could be the focus with this energy for Libra yourself, or this could be another person that comes into the picture surrounding something this week with the Queen of Wands energy. So that's beginning the reading. Here we have the Two of Swords. So we're dealing with, in our minds, mentally, Libra, there could be something that we're overlooking. There could be something where we feel like uh, we're in denial about or it's out of our hands or you know what, uh, we're indecisive about it. Something's going on, Libra, perhaps for you mentally. There's inaction and indecision. And there's also, when I see this card, there's an element of denial. You may be trying to figure something out. And it may be surrounding this Queen of Wands energy. You're in a stalemate position, though. Okay? So there's no movement, maybe. Uh, but you're really thinking. You're in your head. With the two of swords here font so here font shows up when there could be uh, a few factors at play this could be dealing with someone who wants commitment marriage it can also be about uh, any type of conservative type energy or conforming I feel like Libra is very indecisive about this. Am I willing to uh, commit to this? Okay. Your energy is coming in or this could be someone else where you're just wanting to play the field. You may want to stay single. You may want to have some options. All right. You may not want to be or stay committed. Okay. Uh, with the here fonts energy showing up. And you may also not want to conform to other people's rules. <laughs> Just saying. It's hot girl summer. You're like, mm, mm Six of Swords energy. I feel like you've been moving through something mentally, especially the last six weeks. You're back and forth in your head, back and forth. You may, even be, you may have even felt that, you know what, it's time for me to leave a situation or to move forward, or you may be 
you may have been making plans to move on from something with the Six of Swords energy. You're also moving out of a difficult period, but we're still not making a decision or taking action. We're getting attention here, okay? So we're getting attention this week, but we're also very much mentally, should I stay or should I go? Should I stay or should I go? You know, am I gonna to conform to this? Uh, am I going to commit to this anymore type energy? Temperance shows up. We want moderation. We want balance. We're done with the drama. We're done with the back and forth. We're done with the hot and cold. We're really wanting things to uh, be restored. So you're wanting restoration. And you're back and forth in your head about it too. You know, is this serving my highest good because I'm not willing to perhaps conform or uh, commit to really anything right now? This just doesn't have to be a relationship. I feel like you have some desire and need of wanting to travel perhaps or wanting to move or physically relocate even. It's in your mind. Ace of Wands energy. So a new cycle is coming forth. This is one where a lot of energy comes through. Physical energy, ideas, okay? This also could be where we have more energy physically, mentally, spiritually. We're wanting to begin new life. I feel like Libra doesn't want to commit, doesn't want to conform, and wants to start a new life. And you may be putting yourself out there with the Queen of Wands this week. You know what? I want to start over. I want to start my new life. I can't commit to this situation and conform to somebody else's ideologies or ideas of what I should be doing with my life. Four of Swords energy. You're not taking action. You're just kind of putting things to bed. Uh, so if you're at odds with yourself or with someone else, I just feel like, you know what, it's not worth my energy anymore. I'm just going to lay it to rest. I'm laying it to rest. Here we are, Queen of Swords. So Libra, you show up here as well. You're, you may even be going a bit gray rock with someone, not reacting to them. You just may be very one answer, yes, no, okay, very blunt, very direct, not over, over emotional about something. You're just cutting it off. You're cutting something off this week. Three of Pentacles, we want to rebuild. So the next three months in particular for Libra, I feel July, August, September is a period where you just want to start over. I want to rebuild. I want to rebuild my life financially. I want to rebuild, uh, you know, save money, maybe go and buy a house. I want to rebuild something, but you want to take your time with it and you want to do it with the right person. You don't want to be controlled. You don't want to be pigeonholed either. So three of pentacles shows up and that to me is rebuilding. It can be with other people, your children. This could be with family, other people. Knight of Cups energy. I feel like there's still pursuement from someone who's still pursuing you. Uh, it also may feel like, you know, oh, they've come back around type energy with the Knight of Cups chasing you, offering you romantic uh offering of some type okay five of pentacles but it's not enough it's like oh okay now you're back around you're wanting to love me again but man i've just felt abandoned by you or cast out or having to face things on my own there could have been a lot of stresses for you about money or felt that you were lacking financially or fear of uh, poverty or fear in general. And there's also a feeling here of just being abandoned. And so this Knight of Cups energy doesn't last for long. 
and it may go right back to this. And that may also be why uh, there's an action here. Five of Wands energy. So Five of Wands is very much about, and we have two fives in the reading. This is unexpected change, unexpected energy. I feel like, Libra, you're not going to do anything until you're forced to. <laughs> You're not going to make a move until you're forced to. <laughs> and this could come in the, in the way of other people uh, fighting. This could be a group of people fighting. This could be a verbal battle. This could be you fighting with someone else. And it could be a lot about lack. Financial trouble could come in. The last minute type energy. Struggle. There's some type of struggle here right here page of cups so here we have this is framing so here we have the knight of cups is back you know showing attention blah 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 in the meantime you got this shit going on behind the scenes right and then this person wants to offer you love but it's still in the beginning stages like it's not solidified there's there's never really a commitment even though the Hierophant showed up, you're still unsure about that because it's never just fully committed. Ace of Swords. New cycles coming in. And the new cycle may come in for you with clarity of a breakthrough for you in terms of truth. Once you know the truth or once you either someone speaks honestly to you or you're honest with yourself or some type of truth is exchanged, that's when you have clarity, Libra, and the breakthrough and it allows you to move forward and make a decision. You want honesty. Be transparent here. Knight of Wands energy. So yeah, I feel that you, the new cycle will also include you physically moving. Knight of Wands is direction, movement, could be actual physical relocation. And with that's victory and courage. And you may just make the decision coming up for you. You know what? I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm going. I'm going to go seek out what I want for myself, for my children, for my life. King of Pentacles shows up. He may be saying, oh, look, I got this. You know, I'll take care of you financially. Uh, this also could be someone who's helping you financially to make this happen. Okay. But it also may be at the last minute. Oh, no, 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 no. I got this. You know, don't worry. Money's not a problem, but I still feel that it is. Or there could be money that comes to you that enables you to take off. It could go many ways for many people. Yeah, there's drama surrounding this King of Pentacles. Uh, if this King of Pentacles has allowed you to suffer in any aspect, meaning they have money, they have the money to pay for things, uh, but they're allowing you to, to live in lack That's the drama here with the Knight of Swords energy. There's drama here attached to this king. Yeah, here he's not good. This is devil. Capricorn energy here. Uh, yeah, it's very toxic. He knows what he's doing. And I feel like you're going to leave this situation where there's narcissistic energies, toxicity. This person could even be dealing with addiction of some kind. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, they've they've either provided for you financially or tried to provide financial stability or still wants that with you. But who wants to live in a hell house? <laughs> who wants to live in that? Yeah, you're ready to go. We got the chariot. You're like, okay, well, you know. We've played house for a little while or, you know, we're going to do this, this, and this, but, um, I'm ready to go. 
the chariot's energy is out the door. This is driving motivation. This person can only give you so much stability. But with the stability, there's also been a lot of other things that you've had to endure. Okay? Yeah, you're ready. Here's the fool. And I'm going to end there. This is beginnings. This is where you take a risk. You take a, take a leap of faith into the unknown. Okay? And you just go for it. You may just blindly follow your bliss and just listen to your intuition and your gut and go. Especially with the chariot's energy here next to full. And we could be dealing with Cancerian energy here with the chariot as well. So, interesting reading, Libra. Have a great week. I hope the reading was helpful to you. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you'd like to book a private with reading with me, check out my website below. Have a great week, Libra. Take care. Stay blessed. And I'll speak to you soon.